Bawal ba ang itlog sa my cancer? Yan ang isang tanong na nagbungad sa akin when I went into Doc Brian and Coach Gibos meet and greet ngayong araw. Bago ako lumabas, maraming nag-approach but there's this one woman na nagtanong, bawal ba ang itlog sa my cancer? Kasi meron daw siyang cancer at pinagbawalan siya ng kanyang doktor. So we have here... I think this one is salted egg and ito naman brown egg. So, ito yung itlog na pag-uusapan natin ngayon. Ano ba ang cancer at ano ba ang meron sa itlog? So, yung cancer is isa yung malignancy sa ating katawan. Ito ay tumutubo ng hindi regulated. So, normally kasi yung cells natin sa katawan, dapat hindi sila nag-overgrow. So, yung skin natin, dapat hanggang dyan lang. Yung mata natin, dapat hindi lumalagpas dyan. Yung bibig natin, yung mucosa, yung red, as compared to the skin here, dapat hindi lumalagpas. However, if there are instances na merong injury, repair, injury and repair, magkakaroon yan ng errors eventually at magkakaroon ng overgrowth. So when it comes to cancer formation, marami ang trigger. Generally, it is injury. It could be related to too much sun exposure, too much heat, pwede rin siyang mga chemicals, toxins, and many more. And ano ang nagpapathrive sa cancer? There are two things na tumutubo yung cancer. The first one is the signal para ito ay tumubo. So, there is this signal for growth. Ano yung growth na yun? Anything that causes anabolic na signal. Anabolism or building up signal. Okay? Yun yung isang signal. At yung pangalawa, pagkain para ito ay masustain niya yung trigger na para tumubo. So ano ang mga dalawang signal na yon para magkaroon ng cancer? So uh, after the injury, after the damage, and you will have a signal sa katawan mo na anabolic phase ka, building up ka, too much build up, that is actually going to ignite. Pwede itong makapagsimula ng tumor formation. Sa simula, pwedeng benign, hindi siya cancerous, but eventually kapag patuloy ito, it can go awry and it can cause multiplication na hindi controlled. That is when cancer is present. At pag pinakain nyo yung cancer ng kanyang paboritong pagkain, so of course, lalago ito. So ano yung common ground ng pagkain when it comes to anabolic na signal and food for the cancer? It's actually carbohydrates and sugar. Because when you eat sugar and carbohydrates, Tataas yung insulin spike sa katawan, tataas yung level ng insulin, and insulin is an anabolic hormone. Nagsisignal siya ng building up, hindi siya nagsisignal ng breakdown. So it will signal your body to keep on building, para siyang builder. Pero since tayo ay malaki na, we are already adults, most likely wala na tayong kailangang mas marami pang build up. That's why if we keep on sending a signal sa ating katawan na mag-build, build, build pa, kahit pa tapos na sana yung project na ikaw, ay pwede siyang mag-build ng mga wrong kinds of stuff. And those wrong kinds of stuff is signaled by insulin at eto yung ibibuild niya is protein. Protein yung ibibuild niya pero yung kakainin nito yung kakainin nito for it to have energy to multiply and certain substrate na po pwede rin niyang gawing pangpabuhay sa kanya is actually the sugar. So if you keep on feeding that build, build, build project, sinusustain mo siya ng materials para ito ay lumago, then of course it can be resulting to cancer. Pero saan nagagaling ang idea na bawal ang itlog sa cancer? Ano ba ang nasa loob ng itlog? So, ang itlog ay composed nito is egg white and egg yolk. So, alam na natin yon, di ba? Dalawang component. Generally, ang egg yolk is puro fats. And generally, yung egg white naman is puro proteins. So, ano sa dalawang yan yung direct siyang nakakakos ng cancer. So when it comes to dalawang signal na sinabi natin, the anabolism and the food for cancer, it's actually not about carbohydrates. Kasi yung isang itlog, may one gram of carbohydrates lang. Sobrang liit lang yan. It's not enough to cause cancer. But the proteins can 
signal anabolism but not too much yung signal ng anabolism ng coming from proteins is hindi siya enough to produce cancerous growth kasi minimal lang yung response however ang problema is kapag kumain ka ng proteins na nakakasignal ng insulin at the same time kumain ka ng carbs so nadodouble yung insulin response at nagbibigay ka ng sustento for the cancer to grow so egg alone is not going to cause cancer in fact egg is the one of the most nutritious foods sa ating pagkain but you have to think ano ang kasabay ng itlog kapag kumakain ka itlog lang ba gulay Karne, manok, other meats, seafood, or baka naman tinapay na merong palaman na mayonnaise na process, nilalagyan pa ng sugar para matamis, tapos nagsasoft drinks ka on the side, or nagsasunny side up ka, niluluto mo sa toxic oils tulad ng mga vegetable oil na karamihan ay mga seed oil tulad ng canola, sunflower, at marami pang ibang toxic oils, then that egg may be contributory to your cancer, but it's not the egg alone. It's the ones that you eat it with. Ano ang pinagkakakain mo kasama yung itlog? Because generally, in our practice, egg is very, very healthy. Isa siya sa pinaka-basic, na pinaka-healthy na pagkain sa mundo. Yung kulang lang, alam niyo ba na ang isang itlog is actually full of vitamins and minerals. Yung wala lang sa isang itlog is actually just the calcium. Pero kung kakainin mo yung shell, then it's already a complete vitamins and minerals na profile. Ganun po, kanutritious yung egg. But it can be contributory to cancer. If kumakain ka nito na merong kasabay, na nagti-trigger ng sobrang insulin spike at substrates pagkain for cancer growth and that is sugar and carbohydrates. Sugar, mga matatamis, ice cream, and then we also have mga, mga soft drinks, fruit juices even, carbohydrates can be starch. Starch, complex carbohydrates, kasama yan ay Kanin. So, for those na natatakot na huwag nang kumain ng itlog para dahil avoid sila ng cancer, try to think. Okay lang kung gusto nyo, ayaw nyo talagang kumain ng itlog. Pero kung hindi kayo kukain ng itlog, pero ang ipapalit nyo sa itlog is tinapay, kamoteng, sobra-sobra sa dami, mga rice, soft drinks, kung meron pa kayong mga biskwit, mga crackers, then you might as well better eat eggs because egg is actually just okay. It's very healthy. It's very neutral, especially if it's organic, It's if it's farm-raised, pasture-raised, at hindi ito kinakain na kasama yung mga toxic na pagkain and toxic ingredients, processed foods, seed oils, margarine. Wag na wag kumain ng margarine, especially with egg. Kung gusto nyo merong pampalasa, you can have butter instead. Mas mahal ng konti, pero hindi nakaka-damage ng katawan. It will not cause inflammation. So personally, for me, bawal ba ang itlog sa my cancer? For me, hindi ko yan pinagbabawal. Mas pinagbabawal ko ang healthy at sa mga nagsasabi na ang itlog ay nakaka-cancer directly, there is no direct na relationship, no research showing na ang itlog mismo ay nakaka-cause ng cancer direct siya. Mostly, kung meron mang research na ganyan, it's just correlational. It's just that merong increase na intake of egg and then with cancer but they did not look into the other food profile na kinakain ng pasyente. And generally, in our society right now, sa ating panahon ngayon, ang typical diet na hindi natin pinagdibintangan as possibly the cause of the typical lifestyle diseases natin is actually the one that might be causing it. And that typical diet is generally high-carb diet, 60 to 70% made up of carbohydrates, only 20 to 30% proteins, and very, very minimal fats. At yung minimal fats na yun, the bad fats pa. Hindi yung healthy fats tulad ng ating avocado, tulad ng ating coconut, the ones in our seafood, 
Okay? And kung meron man silang kinakain, mostly it's all the carbohydrates na 60%, mostly composed of rice, mga mais, oatmeal, uh, wheat flour and wheat products, grains, and many, many more. So for me, hindi bawal ang itlog sa my cancer, especially if you eat it together with the foods in our JGC Rojo food list na nasa safe list natin. And you do not eat it so much kasama ang mga nasa danger list as well as nasa caution list. Itlog, I believe, is one of the healthiest food na provided by nature. Of course, hindi rin tayo kailangan kumain ng itlog lang parate araw-araw like one whole tray in a day. Hindi rin ganon yung point natin. But the idea is egg is healthy. You just have to eat it the right way, consume it the right way, and you better avoid yung mga pagkaing nakapakete, nakaplastic, nakalagay sa container na halos walang expiry, those foods you have to avoid. Yung eggs, yung expiry nito, matagal na yung two weeks because this is organic, this is something na walang preservatives. But those other foods na hindi natin pinagbibintangan, just nakapakete na nakalabel lang na healthy, ay posibleng yun pala yung isa sa mga dahilan kung bakit tayo nagsasuffer sa lifestyle diseases including cancer. So, cheers tayo. Kain tayo ng itlog. Huwag matakot sa itlog. And embrace natural, healthy, whole, low-carb foods. Maraming salamat everyone for being with me tonight. First live natin after a while. I'll see you in our next video. Remember to always stay low-carb. So that we all stay safe. Bye-bye. Thank you.